Ryan Rosenblatt from SB Nation Soccer, and this Sunday we get our first El Clasico of the season as Real Madrid head to the Camp Nou to take on Barcelona. Now, technically it's not the first Super Clasico of the season, those happen in the Supercopa, but those are glorified friendlies, this one's for real. La Liga points are on the line, and Real Madrid desperately need them. They already find themselves 8 points back of Barcelona, and if they fall any farther behind, they might have to kiss the La Liga title goodbye by Christmas. They need to pick it up, and quite simply, they need to play better. It's been a lot of little things for Real Madrid, whether it's forgetting to mark someone on a set piece, giving the ball away in their own third, or just having a player be undisciplined, vacate his face, and leave a clear channel for an opponent to attack. Little things like that, they add up. They've added up to a lot of lost points which is really uncharacteristic for a Jose Mourinho team. Above all else, Mourinho teams are usually very well disciplined, and they're very organized. That hasn't been the case so far for Madrid. One thing they could do to try and turn things around is bring Luka Modric into this team. Now, he may not play, but if he does, he could come in for someone like Angel Di Maria, pinch in from the right, and give him a little bit more control, a little more possession, and, along with Xavi Alonso, the two of them deep, able to play early balls to Kareem Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo, that could terrorize the Barcelona defense if they get out on the break like that. And that Barcelona defense, to be honest, pretty much everything terrorizes them right now. They're in absolute tatters. They've been terrible this season, and they were dealt a blow in midweek action when Carlos Puyol dislocated his elbow. He's out for eight weeks, so he's not playing this weekend. Gerard Piquet, who's missed a several matches with a sprained foot, he doesn't look like he's going to get back either. That means that Javier Mascherano and Alex Song are likely going to have to start in center defense. Those are two natural midfielders at the heart of the Barcelona defense. When you have guys like Benzema and Ronaldo running at them, that's not exactly a great recipe for success, but it's what Barcelona have. And the making it worse for them is the form that Ronaldo and Benzema are in. In midweek action against Ajax, they were incredible. Ronaldo had a hat trick. Benzema had two of the two assists on those goals, and he had an amazing bicycle, scissor, whatever you want to call the goal himself. It was mind-bogglingly great. Those two are in great form and are going up against Song and Mascherano. That's rough for Barcelona. Big question mark for Barcelona also? What's going on with Tito Villanova? And it's not to say he's been bad, it's just that he's untested. He had big shoes to fill when he took over for Pep Guardiola, and this is his first major test. Now, you look at someone like Guardiola in last year's Super Classico, he turned the match. Well, he came out in the 3-4-3 Barcelona did. They made a major adjustment when they were getting beat early. They pushed Puyol farther out wide, drop boost gets deeper, it basically played him in a center defender. Once they did that, they stabilized the back line and were able to go for it with a bandit. It changed the match. Barcelona won, and they were off and running. Now, Real Madrid ended up coming back, winning the later matches, and winning the La Liga title, but Pep Guardiola completely changed that match with his ability to make tactical adjustments in the middle of it. Can Villanova do the same? We're going to find out. This is his first real test, and well, it comes against Jose Mourinho. You don't really want your first test to be against Mourinho, but that's what Villanova has in front of him. What does Mourinho do? Well, it's anyone's guess. Remember, last year everybody expected that he would be more defensive. That was kind of his MO against Barcelona. But he let his team just go. And he played exactly as he did in every other match. Opened it up, let them fly forward. It almost didn't work. It bit him in the butt in the first match. In the second La Liga match, well, it almost hurt him. When they only needed a draw, they ended up in some trouble because of their recklessness and their willingness to go forward. Now, they held on for the win. They won the La Liga title. But, does Mourinho do that again? Does he let them play with such abandon against Barcelona? We'll have to wait and see. We don't really know what he's going to do. Just another great storyline in this match, from the rivalries to the tactics, the players who were out, and on top of it all, you get Cristiano Ronaldo against Lionel Messi, the two best players in the game. That alone makes it worth tuning in for, so make sure you do the same. Head over to SB Nation Soccer for all your coverage. Enjoy!